Hi everyone, this is Paul Richards with PTZ Optics and in this video I'm going to introduce you to a really great government video production installation case study done by the DVE store. So a big thanks to Jason Jenkins over there. This is a city hall video production system in Whitefish, Montana, where they put together a four camera system that really is state of the art. So without further ado, let's take a look at the 16 minute full behind the scenes installation video of a great video production system. Hey, it's Jason here with the DVE store. I'm here in Whitefish, Montana. I'm here with Jake. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, we're here in a brand new city hall. In fact, it's so new, it's still under construction. Uh, so construction's a little delayed. Uh, it's actually kind of dusty in here. We've got a lot of expensive equipment to set up, but uh, it's gonna be a cool setup because uh, we've got four uh, PTZ optics cameras and a, uh, a vmix um, switching system that we're going to install um, so i'm going to take you through this whole process it's going to be pretty cool so hang on So this is the back of our vmix pc here internal to this we have a um an aja a corvid 88 so we have eight uh ins and outs that can be mapped either way to bring video in or send video out um, and to pack them all into one slot um, they have these little mini dins and we have uh, these little adapter cables that go from this to the uh, full size BNC and I really like the fact that they're labeled one through eight which makes it really handy so here's the cable you can you can see um, how it works here it just literally plugs right on see it's it locks in and uh, you just connect your BNC SDI cable right there. And then to pull it off, you have to grab the little collar and pop it. Photobomb. So our VMIX PC has just been gently laid into the rack here. And it's going to get screwed down. We've got uh, our dual monitors that we're working on putting in here um, for our VMIX system. I'm going to go side by side on this uh, workbench here. Then we'll have our keyboard and mouse and control surface here. We've got the uh, XKE-124 T-Bar control surface from X-Keys. This is what we're going to be working with. The really nice thing about this is it's fully programmable. So uh, I'm going to be popping some of these keys out that we're not going to use and uh, putting blank covers in there. Um, but uh, it's going to work well for this system. Breaking out these PTZ Optics cameras. It's just one of the 20X units. We've got our two mounts uh, put up here. Let's see. Here and over here. So we got our wiring ready to go there, CAT6 and RG6. So CAT6 for control, 
and RG6 for video. So now we just need to get our camera prepped. We've got these uh, bottom plates that need to be mounted directly to the bottom of the camera. So we're going to mount this camera right here on the ceiling. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, it's hanging. Now we need to put a screw in here and then one here and one here. So, as you can see, this thing is rock solid now. Let's go anywhere. Uh, while hanging these cameras, it's a good time to use the system select dial. Make sure you dial in the uh, size and frame rate that you want. I'm going to go to 6 here, which will give us 1080p 30. So here I am in the back of the rack. You can see our, our vMix system here. And we've got our four uh, PTZ cameras plugged in uh, to the AJA Corvid card. And this one is going to be an output. Um, and actually, we need an HDMI output in order to go into this uh, HDMI matrix up here. Um, and so we're going to use this. Um, decimator so that we can feed the exact H HDMI signal that uh, this thing will want to see. And uh, one little wrinkle is that this rack actually does not have um, rear rails. It just has a flange with no holes. So I'm going to use a couple of uh, sheet metal screws and I'm going to mount it right there anyway. And that should do the trick for us. And when that's done, I need to get my control surface and keyboard and monitors and all that plugged in over here. And then we can power up and make sure that we have camera signals. And then we work on getting our network control configured. We've been working on getting these four PTZ Optics cameras connected so that we have network control. Um, we have our RG6 uh, SDI cables all connected as well. Um, I was having trouble getting uh, network access to this particular camera and then I came in here and realized that the two ends, the RJ45 connectors were pinned out differently. So that's why the communication wasn't happening, wasn't, the signal wasn't making it all the way through. So uh, I'm going to re-terminate uh, this cable so that we have proper network connection. Just be aware that uh, when you have multiple uh, cameras, these default to a, to a static IP address and it's the same default for every camera. So if you plug in all of your cameras simultaneously, um, they're, those, uh, they're, they're all going to compete for that IP address and you're going to have problems. So just uh, plug in one camera at a time 
and set up one camera at a time, change it to the IP address that you want it to be. So here's the network switch that I'm using. Uh, just a little Netgear ProSafe uh, to create a little control network for the PTZ Optics cameras. And I've got my CAT6 cable uh, labeled uh, camera D. That's the one I just re-terminated the other end on. And uh, so, and I've got my three other camera connections here. But again, I'm just doing one uh, camera connection at a time because they all have the same default IP address. So I need to change them uh, one by one. So we're going to see if I uh, can actually see this one now. I've got the default IP address. Yes. Okay, so we're connected. Now I'm going to open up the uh, IP address setting utility that uh, PTZ Optics offers. So we're going to go up here and we're just going to hit search. And you can see that all four of my cameras show up, each with their own IP address. And uh, that's exactly what you want. Now I can go into vMix and uh, have full control over all of them, be able to set presets. We're here inside of vMix and I'm going to go down here and click add input. And we get a, an input selection box which pops up. And uh, I'm going to click on camera. And so you click on camera and then you see all your options and they're all the Corvid 88 inputs and the cool thing is is any of these will also work as an output but uh, it's pretty cool how you can just swap them so we're gonna go uh, input one um, that's all correct we're gonna hit OK down here and then boom our camera shows up. It's nice to see all four cameras coming in. That's excellent. Now we can go in and see if our PTZ control is uh, operational. So we can go into input one here, just click on the uh, gear icon for input one. We'll come over here to PTZ on the left, device type, PTZ optics, Visca UDP. And then of course we need to type in our IP address for that particular camera camera one so that um, it knows where to find it on the network okay now we should be able to connect to that and boom now we're able to control the camera we're up near the ceiling so that's where we're getting a nice shot of the uh, chandeliers But once we zoom a bit, we can get past those and not have to, to deal with that. We can slow the speed down a little bit so that we're not moving around so much, so quickly, anyway. So this could be a shot of, you know, a section of the uh, city council bench. So the cool thing is here is that uh, we can create an input at this position. So this just makes a, a preset, becomes input five. And then we can create another input. I think for now we'll just, uh, we'll get a zoomed in shot of the ladder. And we'll say create input at this position. It becomes input six. And we'll go ahead and close out of this. So 
So now if we click on uh, input 5 here, you can see we'll go back to that position. And then input 6, hit that position. It's like boom, boom. <laughs> so I've got the X keys uh, control surface here configured um, at least I've got the buttons installed I don't have it programmed yet but essentially um, our cameras are going to be A, B, C and D and I'll just put some labels down here this will be the A row of presets the B camera row of presets C and D so we'll have 12 preset buttons available for each camera. I don't think we'll use that many, but they'll be there. And uh, so what each of these buttons will do is uh, go directly to that preset when you hit it in the preview window. And then you'll hit take um, to go live with that particular shot. Now if you just want to cut directly to wherever one of those cameras is currently, then you can just hit A, B, C, or D. It's gonna be a world of difference from a one camera shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna have options, I'm gonna have overlays, I'm gonna have um, camera moves pre-built, and I will be able to adjust those and save them on the fly. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I want to again thank Jason Jenkins from the DVE store. I would highly suggest subscribing to the DVE store YouTube channel where you'll see in the top right here, uh, maybe actually right over here, you're going to see a little card where you can subscribe and learn more about their channel. I'll also have a video description in the link below and I'm also going to do my best to have a blog post below where you can go ahead and learn more and see the complete part list for this system that you can buy from the DVE store. Thanks so much everybody for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll have a lot more coming up soon. Bye everybody.